Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many React Native developers encounter. Our viewer is looking for a way to parse a URL to extract a query variable using linking. They have a URL formatted like this. URL app dash scheme slash some page, some var, some val, and they want to retrieve the value of some var. Let's dive into how we can solve this problem together. Welcome to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To parse a URL and extract the query variable in React Native, we can use the linking API. First, ensure you import linking from React Native. Next, we will create a function to handle the incoming URL. This function will be triggered when the app receives a URL. Inside the handle URL function, we can use the URL constructor to easily access the query parameters. Let's extract the value of some var. Finally, we need to set up an event listener to listen for incoming URLs when the app is opened. This will call our handle URL function. And that's it. You can now retrieve query variables from URLs in your React Native application. Make sure to test it with different URLs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To parse a URL and get query variables in React Native, you can use the query string library. First, install it using yarn. Then import query string and use the parseURL method to extract the query parameters. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To parse a URL and get query variables in React Native, you can use a library from the JavaScript ecosystem. A great option is URIJS, which simplifies URL manipulation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To parse a URL and get query variables in React Native, consider using the URL package. This module provides utilities for URL resolution and parsing, similar to Node.js's core URL module. Keep in mind that while the Node URL object is available in the Chrome debugger, it won't work on your iPhone when untethered. So, using this package is a great solution. Here's a sample code snippet to parse a URL. First, import the URL module, then use the parse method to create a URL object and construct a new URL string. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To parse a URL and get a query variable in React Native, you can use the URL module. First, define your URL string. Then, create a URL object by parsing the string with the second parameter set to true to include the search query.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user highlights a limitation with using the URL Web API in React Native. They mention that it only works in debugging mode, which makes it less reliable for general use. The URL Web API is similar to the WebG API in Node.js, allowing easy parsing and building of URLs. However, the user notes that many URL parsing packages can be confusing. The user expresses a desire to find a way to make the URL module work consistently in React Native, despite its current limitations. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.